Hey, welcome back to TIG Time, where we're about to do part two of a multi-process welding machine. Now, part one, we did TIG welding. Uh, this particular machine does TIG, MIG, and stick, and we're about to show you the MIG portion of it. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a professional MIG welder, so it's going to be interesting to see how I can set this up, again, intuitively, and, and set all the gear up and make it run and do the settings. Uh, we'll give it a shot. I'm going to get started by talking about the wire feed or MIG, which is metallic inert gas welding. Uh, we no longer use just straight argon. We're going to use what's called a MIG mix. And a MIG mix is an argon 75% and a CO2 25%. Now, I, I took the time to go ahead and put a spool of wire in here. And the spool of wire was identified as 0 .030 diameter. And you're going to need to remember that because you can put different diameters in here. This is what we happen to have, so put it in there. And I'm going to set the machine accordingly, or at least I'm going to try. So the wire's in here. It's already been fed through. Uh, the MIG gun is in place. I'm going to come around front and describe the setup of the machine. Okay, well, this particular MIG gun... Has, it, has its own fitting. Now the wire is already running through here so I can't pull it completely out. But it is pretty, pretty bozo proof putting it back in. Okay, so with it in place, the only thing I have to look at right now is the ground. Now remember this is a solid ground, no gas comes through here, but there's two ports here. And remember I was TIG welding earlier where does this ground go? And if I accidentally put it in the wrong slot here, which says positive, then the gun won't activate. Actually, you pull the trigger, nothing happens. It's not live. So until you get a good ground over here on negative, now things will work well. Kind of interesting with this machine. It's got so many little features to it. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to set up. Now, again, I didn't look at the instruction book. Guys just don't do that. So I looked at the machine and I thought, well, anything to do with MIG welding is, is what I want to set. So I did. I started over here. And if you look right here, it, it has a category for iron, aluminum, or stainless steel. Okay, so I set it on iron or FE because I have 30 thousandths, I set it on 30 thousandths. So those are the two main features that I set it on. And I started playing with the voltage and the wire speed on this. Now you have to remember, MIG welders are constant voltage, not constant current. So whatever you set the voltage at, you need to be able to adjust the wire speed to match that. So I did, I started messing around, and I'm gonna show you some samples that I did were absolutely horrible. And, <laughs> And I finally tweaked it into something that I liked. And again, I'm not a professional MIG welder, but I got some decent results pretty quick. Okay, so I came over to this little area right here, and this is the voltage. And I played with it, and I, I got up to, I think it was 18.5 volts. Uh, I was welding eighth inch thick steel, and wire speed was somewhere around 105. Okay, so those are my two main settings. Now, there's a feature right here that memorizes, I think, uh, 10 different settings for you. So I memorized setting number one. Let's see if I did it right. Okay, 18.5 and 105. So this is a kind of a neat feature. Uh, everything else is pretty well automatic. If you look right here, there's a MIG gun, there's a TIG torch, and there's a stick electrode holder. Make sure you've got the right one. Uh, I even played with this 2T, 4T. I found that 2T was the, uh, the position that I would run the gun on. And other than that, I just started playing with it until I got the right results. So uh, with that, 
turn the argon on, 15 to 20 CFH of argon. Uh, played with some samples and I'm going to show you my results here shortly. I want to do a shout out to a friend of mine. I've worked with him many shows. His name is Dennis Klingman. My apologies, Dennis. I just didn't want to do MIG welding during these shows, so I told you I didn't know how to do them. So thanks for being my partner for all these years. Now, guys, we've uh, finished doing the second segment of this. This is part two of this multi process machine. I've got O30 wire on there, and I managed to get some pretty decent results out of it. Um, I didn't have any thin materials here, or I would have tried that as well, but uh, I, I did okay. I mean, again, as a non-professional MIG welder, uh, you know, this does a pretty nice job. Uh, anyway, we're getting ready to do a third segment as we close part two. I want to thank you for watching, and we're also going to have a, a sheet on here where we're in detail uh, studying the machine and giving you special evaluations. You can find it on weld.com. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.